It means that I'm boss. <laughs> um, it, well, it, it just means, yeah, I mean, that you really have absolute responsibility for, for everything, not just in the rehearsals, but beyond the rehearsals, you, you sort of are um, in charge of how each person feels about their own playing and about what you demand of them. Um, so it's really, yeah, it's a, it's a big responsibility being boss. <laughs> I, I sort of really like imagination and character uh, when I work with any group of people. And I think, uh, well, I would like to think that I have uh, managed to inspire them to inspire each other to really play with character. You know, sort of to think beyond just the notes on the page, to sort of imagine that you're in a play, for example, and, you know, and your music making is as vivid as if you were showing images and, and storytelling. That's, uh, I hope I would have achieved that goal, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's always uh, interesting, especially with tonight's combination, which is Vivaldi's Four Seasons and Gazzola's uh, Four Seasons, arranged by Dziadnikov, and, um, you know, their seasons. And it's very interesting to take uh, two completely different composers from completely different parts of the world, different era, and hear their takes on, on the seasons, and then to mix those two together. So we sort of uh, alternate Vivaldi, Piazzolla, Vivaldi, Piazzolla, and the audience kind of, you know, travels <laughs> around the world for, you know, for each piece. Um, I, I love that kind of contrast in programs, and especially when you contrast something that's very early with something that's incredibly contemporary, it's, it's very exciting for me. <laughs> It is the ultimate, I mean, package, you know, I, I don't think you can do any more than that. You play and conduct and rehearse, I mean, everything. So it's been the most challenging thing I've ever done in my entire life, um, but it's, it's so rewarding. I mean, it, it keeps me up till 4 a.m. thinking about it. You know, every time I'm here in Belgium, I don't sleep, you know, until about three or four because I'm just thinking about this orchestra, what we can try tomorrow. I mean, it's just really the ultimate rush, if you like, yeah. Oh, you know, they are such a fantastic group of people. They are so committed they are 200 percent there in every rehearsal they are really intense workers um i mean 
I think I also, you know, I'm a very, when I'm in rehearsal, there's, I always find them short. You know, we always, there's more rehearsal than there is time, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and everyone is just absolutely on the whole time in rehearsal and um, they really own the music more and more, and more and more with each rehearsal. And I, I, I so appreciate that so much, you know, really, it's a great relationship. plans. I mean, I think we just uh, continue as we are, uh, as we are going. And, you know, uh, it's a group of, it's a small group of people who are ready to try anything. Whatever it takes to, to get a large group of people to play chamber music, that's, I think, to me, the ultimate goal for, for any, you know, any ensemble or even a, even a symphonic orchestra. You know, it would be an absolute dream of mine um, if, let's say, a symphonic orchestra could play chamber music. You know what I mean? I don't see why not, just because there are more people. So, um, yes, that is, I think, the vision for the HKO.